Now I'm playing with NeoPixels, my favorite thing. There are all sorts of NeoPixel setups. This is a strip uh, that's encased in a, a neoprene, rubber, vinyl. I'm not sure what's good, but it's enclosed. I don't think it's waterproof. You can buy waterproof ones though. You can buy them different lengths. The idea with NeoPixels, one, they're bright. Two, they are red, green, blue combo, so you can um, set any color you want. And also they are all addressable. So I can tell NeoPixel 1 to do something, NeoPixel 2 to do something else, NeoPixel and on and on and on. There are little rings, there are big rings, there are small gems, there are strips. There, there's all sorts of NeoPixels out there. This strip also happens to have some nice alligator clips, which is nice for prototyping. Makes quick and easy connection. Uh, if I had to use breadboard or hold things together or whatever, um, so I know how things are working. I was able to run the NeoPixels from, right now I'm running it on P5, pin five. I was also able to run it from A0. I thought I might be able to do both the analog or the digital pins because on the other hats, one hat had it running off P2, which is an analog pin. Um, and another one had it off P16, which is a digital pin, right? So I imagine I can use any of the pins to run NeoPixels with one disclaimer. If I have it on this, any here five through 16, this is a five volt um, sub power supply. So you gotta be giving at least five volts, which I'm doing with the battery. Again, you could have four AA batteries, get you six volts. If I unplug that, and I only have the micro bit plugged into the computer, so it's only getting like three volts, it's not gonna work right. Because this one's, this is trying to give it five volts. Um, now, if I happen to have it plugged into the analog pins, apparently these are three-ish. Three to that 3.3 .3 is kind of what they talk about. Apparently these are three-ish, because I did, unplug the battery and uh, they worked okay. NeoPixels, easy to hook up, any pins you want apparently. Simple to code. Um, you have to add an extension called NeoPixels. Where are you on here? There's an extension called NeoPixels. And, you know, a bunch of different things to do. That happens to be a rainbow and uh, rotating colors is what that command is. Uh, so there you go. Set pixel color at which pixel do you want to set and what color. And that could be this drop down menu or it could actually be um, an RGB combo. So lots of different things to do with NeoPixels. Here's what I did for the start on this. On startup LED enable false because again... I am using pins that the LED would normally use. Actually, pin five is, I think, button A, so same thing. Um, then I set them all low just to initialize them so there's no uh, random stuff. And I told it I have a strip of NeoPixels. Strip is a variable. It automatically creates the variable called strip. So you can create whatever variable you want and drop it in there. And then I had to tell it what pin these are on and how many LEDs I have. Now, if I only tell it I have 24, on a, and there's actually 30 there, it's only gonna light up 24, just to let you know that. And then I uh, gave it an initial command to show a rainbow. Now, then my, my uh, program running the forever is to rotate the pixels by one, you can pick any number you want there, uh, and then show the strip again, and then pause for 50 milliseconds. Change of pause, whatever. I mean, there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, you can have, you know, NeoPixels go by sensors, by touch. Hey, if I touch this, go red. If I touch this, go blue. Uh, lots of different things you do with, with the logic, the program you want to do. This was about how to hook it up. Again, there are three pins. Three pins. Three pins in the analog also. One pin is ground. One pin is power and one pin is the signal. Make sure you hook those up correctly. Um, power tends to be red on these strips. Black would be ground and white would be signal. 
I don't know how many strips you can do and how long you can go, but at some point in time, you're going to have to add more power to it. Beta can travel strip to strip to strip. Uh, power will also travel strip to strip to strip, but eventually it's going to be using up uh, the power, and you're going to have to add more 5 volts later on. So there's fun with NeoPixels. Bye.